What's going on you guys? Phase room here. Uh, back in the kitchen again. It's been a long time since I've done a video in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, don't mind the mess. I'm currently... Well, I did do the dishes, but this is from a little bit of lunch, so please do not mind the mess. Um, so today we're going to make just something simple and easy. Uh, we're going to be making sidekicks. It's white cheddar and broccoli. It's very good. I eat a whole package to myself, but... Uh, we're going to save a little bit for later on, so however... Um, Let's get to it, and also we're making pierogies, so I'll show you what we're making. Good thing we have pierogies. Um, this is the kind we have here, um, but we have another bag that's already open, so we're going to be using that today. But before we do, I already have everything set up. We got water, a little bit, just a much, Liam, just a little bit, Liam, okay, a little bit of salt in our water. So what we're going to do, give me a few minutes, I'm going to take the progies out. Okay, so I got these progies out, I got about one, two, three, four, five, six progies, and I got about five left in the bag, so we're going to fold that up and put it back in the freezer. So what we're going to be doing there, I'll put that to the side. And so what I'm going to do for seasoning, yeah, it looks like a whole lot. <laughs> looks like a whole lot, but I do have a measuring uh, spoon here. So about one eight teaspoon. I don't know how you, I don't know how to say that. I used to know my measurements really well. Um, so I, I used about that much. Of all this, see, well, actually, um, so use that. I use Tex Mex. Okay, look at, uh oh. Okay, don't mind that. I made a little bit of a mess. A little bit. None of it spelled out, thank God. Alright, so I just had to clean up the mess a little bit, but other than that, um, yeah, it looks like a very extremely high amount of whatever. No, it's not, because most of it is the French Red Hot Seasoning Powder. Not the hot sauce, but the se hot seasoning powder. So that's what we'll be using today. Um, so what we got here is seasoning salt. The amount I used was this. For that, maple bacon. about half a teaspoon and then the rest of the seasoning here including the garlic powder is all this cut all this size right here and just a little bit of uh, minced California garlic which I'll be adding in just a few minutes that mix that up and that's gonna be the base I wouldn't really call it a sauce but the base spicy part of our pierogies. So give me a few minutes while I mix that up. Hopefully you guys can Oh, That didn't go so well. Alright, actually I'll put it that way. Perfect. Oh. Hopefully you guys give me a few minutes guys. Hopefully you guys can see me. I don't know what the hell that was used on, but we're going to use something different. Mix that up. Wait. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot to add Montreal steak spice. We're going to add a little bit to that side here. I'm going to add a little bit of Montreal steak spice. There we go. I brought that out just before I started the video, and I totally forgot to add it. So we'll mix that in as well. So now, it looks like there's hardly anything but the Frank's Red Hot, Red Hot Powder Seasoning. <laughs> but it is mixed in very well. So what we're going to do now, 
I showed you guys the seasons I use. I use garlic and herb, maple bacon, a little bit of seasoning salt, roasted red garlic and peppers, Montreal steak spice. I know you guys can see, but I do apologize if you guys don't. Tex-Mex, uh, Savory, Mediterranean with flat. Pretty damn good. So what we're going to do is put all these seasonings away. So we're going to put all the seasonings away. Just please give me like two minutes. So that's what we're going to do. Not two minutes, but you guys know what I mean. Put all the seasonings away. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix in the min. Uh, yeah, we're going to mix in the minced California garlic, just a little bit, but not much, because we already have some of the powdered stuff in, which is that stuff. So I'll be back in two minutes because I got to go. To okay, back from the kitchen, <laughs> and yes, I did wash my hands. So the eyes don't have to worry about that. But so now we're gonna mix in California garlic. We're gonna open this. Ooh. <laughs> Make sure the camera view is good. Okay, and we're ready to roll. <whistles> Man, that shit is strong. Not much. Don't ever use too much. That shit is strong, boys. So we're going to use, and she, oh yeah, that's already starting to make my eyes water. <laughs> so we're going to use half a teaspoon of the minced California garlic. Not much, because it's the end strong, so we're going to use about that much. You guys do not need one teaspoon of that shit, it's way too much. <laughs> So we're going to mix that in with the powdered stuff, the Frank's Red Hot Powdered Sauce. Oh, well, not sauce, but powdered seasoning. So mix that in as best you can. Yeah, it's kind of stuck to my spoon, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to close that up. That, that's making my eyes water really bad. Well, not bad, but I guess so. Oh, and one thing I do forgot to mention, boys, was I did add that size here of sugar. It's going to be a sweet and spicy taste of the pierogies. So mix that in it really well. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring you guys over here. We're gonna get. We're gonna get our stove preheated. So I'm gonna put it to eight just to get the. There, I'm gonna put it to eight. Let the pan warm up or pan or pot whatever warmed up. Apparently, there's dirt in the pan. I gotta clean that. So. Uh, Actually, no, that's the design. It's not even dirt. That's the design. So, uh, what we're, I'm going to let the pot preheat. And I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys. So, now the pot has been half heated up. I'm going to go ahead and drop it. These progies inside. So, they at least are half thawed. And I let them cook a little bit more. And so, it's much more easier to cook with. Because I find when they're frozen, they burn faster. Hard to cook, I should say. If you guys are wondering what that's floating in the water, I did throw a little bit of butter in there. I always do sometimes when I do boil stuff. I don't know. It's just a, some, it's something that people do lots. So I'm going to let that warm up a bit. I do go to stir it occasionally because it does sometimes stick to the pot. And that's, that's okay, but, you know... 
try not to do that because it makes a mess and then it just makes a mess when you cook in the pan so we're gonna stir that up here just a little bit and they got 52 minutes of footage left okay which is more than enough all right and I do got another chip for this, so it's like, I got more than enough for him. So if I have to, I'll have to switch the chip, obviously. So, I'm going to let that go to cook for, not really cook, but heat up for a few minutes. I'll be back with you guys in a few, and hopefully we're ready to uh, cook in the pan. Okay, guys, so it's been about at least three, four minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'll, I will i do not know. Give me a few minutes while I'll check these probes, shall we? Okay, that's more than enough. So, we're going to go ahead and, and shut this off. It's been about three or four minutes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the pot over. Alright, turn the pot over, and uh, I'm going to try and be extra careful with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bowl, so we'll have it in the bowl, when it's ready to cook. Oh, before I do that, um, I should get the pan preheated, so that's what I'm going to do now, because it does take a little bit to preheat. So we're going to go ahead and right about there, preheat our pan. So I'm going to go get some butter. Oh wait. Jeez, I just have to fix my camera guys, give me a sec. Brand new fridge if you guys are wondering. Very nice. Jonas. That's an empty one, should you guys know. So, give me a few minutes while I try and open this. Well, didn't go exactly as planned, but <laughs> we're trying to get her open there. So I'm just trying to do this. She's not going as planned. There. That in the garbage. All right. So what we're gonna do? Set that there. No, we're not feeling any heat just yet. I don't know if the elements coming on. This one glows, so I don't know. Well, obviously it's got. Actually, we can do this. Oh yeah, she's glowing. Okay. Alright, it does take a while, so we're going to let that preheat, actually. So, as that that's going to... Uh, oh, how should I say it? <laughs> okay, as that process is happening, we're going to go ahead and dip our probies in our seasoning. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, I think we should go with a better method. So, what we're going to do is, if it's very hot and you can't really dip your fingers, what you do have to do is drain the pierogi in a strainer and throw the pot oh, throw the pot away. actually no keep the pot <laughs> do that so you guys are going to need that like just like that so if the pierogies are too hot to touch it's always good to mix pour a bit of cold water on them Should be more than enough. Okay, pop there. Now, the main thing you guys should do so you don't screw this up is dry your hands. So 
So what we're going to do is take our pierogies and put them in the powdered stuff. So once you put your, oh, I don't know. It does take a little bit of a while process, guys, so hope you guys don't mind. So I'm going to be doing this for a little while, so once I'm done, I'll be back with you guys in a few. Okay, guys, so this is what the pierogies are going to look like. Please do not mind the phone. So uh, we are going to go ahead and throw some butter in the pan. I don't even know why the heck I'm using this, but we're using it anyways. That's just, that was the stupidest idea I just ever did, guys, so please do not copy me. I wasn't even thinking. We're going to need a lot more butter than that. Throw that in the fucking thing. All you really need is a small spoon. There, a fair amount of butter. Whatever you saw me do, please do not do that at, in your own home unless you absolutely really need to, and it's part of the directions. So we're so what we're gonna do is put the some stuff away, let that pan warm up a bit more, and then we'll be ready to throw the progies in. Okay, right, guys. So what we're gonna do? Swish around the butter. Try this. Whatever you do, when you guys got a flat stove, is do not, you know, swivel like you, you know, see restaurant people do. This is not the stove to be doing that on. So whatever you do, do not do it because you will wreck the stove. So gently put that down on your stove. So what we're gonna do is get my hands dirty once again after I just washed them, and we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the pan. Not literally throw it. She does get messy, boy, so please be very, very careful. There, just a fair amount of pierogies. So now I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. Just drying my hands off here for a second. Okay. So what I'm going to do is grab this. And I did throw it to measure a spoon, so we're going to have to improvise. Maybe not. I might have another measuring spoon. I do. That little thing. So... We're going to throw a little bit on, just a little bit, on top of your probies. 
Not much, guys, because it is stuffed so strong, like I said earlier. So just a little bit, trying not to get too much on there. Smear that around a little bit. That. Try to get the rest on there. Maybe if I scoop a little bit, like this, a little bit of the juice there on the bottom. If I grab some of that, it'll come off. Yeah, it should be enough. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna very gently smear it around. that in the sink. <laughs> Put this garlic away and we're going to let that cook and once that's half or once it's ready to flip I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Alright guys so she's ready to be flipped or before I should or say flip it before it sticks. Go ahead. Perfect. Seasoning's fall. Your seasoning is falling off, but that's okay. Try and flip that one. Yeah. All right, perfect. Let's get this middle one. Oh, our seasoning came to a crisp. It's stuck on there. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll flip these other ones here. You not seasoning and not seasoning came to a crisp. Perfect, just what we want. And so you guys know, and Liam, once you see this video, is not too much seasoning. It's a little bit of each. But what my mostly had on here was this stuff, and this stuff is spicy, and I like spicy food. So it'd be like, it'd be almost like uh, the Red Hot Chili uh, Doritos, or whatever you call it, the Hot hot Cheetos Challenge or something. I don't know, you see it on YouTube and that. But anyways, that's what's going to go on, and we're going to let that cook for a while. So now, we're going to cook our sidekick. White cheddar and broccoli. And this is I pig. I want to exactly say pigo on this. I do eat a whole pack of this stuff. Uh, so uh, yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna look at here? All right, I'm looking at the directions. So we're in one cup of water and one cup of milk to a boil. Okay, so we're gonna need one cup of water and one cup of milk. So what we're gonna do? Please do not mind the noise in the background. That is King Liam. I do, or he's doing something in there. I don't know. I do not think we have a one cup measuring thing, but I know we have this because I think we got rid of our old uh, measuring cups. Before I do anything else, I gotta make sure this doesn't stick to the pan. No, not bad. You don't want to fuck around with it too much because all that seasoning will come right off. Well, most of it. So we're going to turn that down just a bit. Alright, we're going to come get our water. Please do not mind the things in the sink. Those are from doing the beginning part of the video. Alright, so we're going to need... It is starting to fade up, off a little bit, but eventually I will get my mother a new measuring cup. So what we're going to need is one cup of water, about that much. So what I'm going to do is settle it down, like that, just a little bit more. Alright, about that much, pour it in the pot here. Make 
sure. We're gonna flip that over again. Perfect, come to a crest, just what we want. Those suckers will run up. Season coming to a crisp. Alright, perfect. Alright, so now we're going to come grab the milk. We're going to need one cup of milk. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just enough. This milk thin is now empty. We had just enough milk. So one cup of milk and one cup of water to a boil. So before I put that in a boil, guys, I am going to be... Well, actually, you know what? Um, I can put that on there. Never mind. Melt. Warm. Okay, so what we're going to do is move this over just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. We are now going to put the milk and water to a boil. So what I'm going to do is once it's done boiling, guys, I will put the camera back on and I will do the rest of the process as well as this. So I'll see you guys. Alright, so what we're going to do now, guys, is we are going to take... Okay, good. I'm just going to turn off the wrong one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pierogies and put them in the bowl. So they are now finished. If I can get these suckers out. Seasoning off this thing here. Alright. That's finished. So now what I'm going to do. So I don't want to put that anywhere else. So what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let you guys go in a few minutes. And once that's finally boiled. I'll be back to pour the pasta in. Okay, so the water is now coming to a boil. I'm just looking at the directions here. In medium saucepan, bring one cup of water and one cup of uh, milk to a, just to a boil. Stir in package and return to a boil. Reduce the heat to medium. Stirring, stirring the package. So what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and put it to medium. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna get a big spoon going here. That's not what I want. Alright, just is what I want. Then we're gonna go ahead and stir. I'll be reading the directions as we speak. And uh, stir in. Okay, so stir package content and return to a boil. Reduce heat to medium. Okay, so it looks like I'll have to put that on high for a few minutes. So it says, return to boil. Reduce heat to medium and continue boil gently for 7 minutes until pasta is tender. Stir occasionally. And then stir in 1 tablespoon of base cell butter. Well, I'm using margin. So let's stand for 3 to 5 minutes and then ready to serve. I'm going to want to 
reduced our heat to six. So it just stirred everything. That's what it looks like right now. And the cameras are fogging up. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to cook that down a few minutes. And then I'll be back with you guys when it's time to uh, reduce the heat. I don't know. I don't know. Just look in here. Oh. Stir occasionally. Okay, so st yeah, I'll be back to you guys once it's time to put in the butter. Alright guys, so it's now uh, easy time to t take her off, so I'm just reading the instructions here. Alright, so we're going to shut her down. Ah, that's funky smell to it. Alright, so we're going to let her stir a little bit. So what I'm going to do, one tablespoon of butter. Put that in the sink. Stir that up. Fast. Stir it up the best you can, so until the mother butter is fully melted. And this is my favorite dish, guys. So, if you guys want to know what it is, let me. That's the package there. Si uh, Nor Sidekicks White Cheddar and Broccoli. Uh, that's the type of noodles you got to look for. It is very good. Cooks in seven minutes. Okay. So we're going to now let that stand. I did just threw the fucking lid in the goddamn sink, so I'll have to improvise. You need a much more bigger lid. And let that stand. So now I'm, uh, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to clean up, and we're going to do a taste test. So we'll see you guys. So guys, it's now time to do the taste test. Mmm. That's the shit right there, boys. That is the perfect stuff to buy. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour me a bowl, eat it all. Progies, I'm not even going to bother this show because I don't have time. Um, I got stuff to do before people come. So if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to smash the like button. And also, just make sure to subscribe to this channel, Face Ray McCold Stairs, if you guys want more videos. Um, also, make sure to go tune into my gaming channel, uh, Phase Optical 247. I won't be live streaming for a little while because Liam's going to a poker run and I'm going to be camping next week with a friend. So, it probably won't be for another three weeks before I live stream. So, uh, so yeah, so <laughs> I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to be doing, but there is some gaming stuff that I've been going to be doing eventually. Um, it's going to be posted on the gaming channel. I don't know when that's going to be. I might try to get into that tonight. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully, uh, you guys enjoy. Make sure to tune into King Liam and Liam's Moto videos, as well as Krusty Aiden, and we'll see you guys later. Zombie Apocalypse.